Hi, my name is Drew. I work on Firefox at Mozilla, and I'm going to talk about Firefox and privacy. What's private browsing good for? When you use Firefox, it records browsing history or download history, and these are all normally really nice things to have. You know, they allow you to go back to sites that you've already visited. But let's say I'm shopping for my engagement ring. I don't want Firefox to remember anything about what I'm doing from this point on. To do that, I go to Tools, start private browsing. Firefox will ask me, are you sure you want to start it? So from this point on, until I explicitly tell Firefox to end private browsing mode, Firefox will not remember anything about what I'm doing. While I'm in private browsing, my normal Firefox is unaffected. So for example, bookmarks that I made before, sites that I visited before in my history, those will all still be available and I won't affect them. Let's say you forget to go into private browsing mode. You can retroactively clear some of the websites that you visited. So I go up to um, open the library, I click on my history for today, and I click uh, forget this site. So now you'll see that the site has disappeared from the window. And just to show you what that means, if I now go up to the awesome bar and I type in engagement ring, that site doesn't show up anymore. Firefox has forgotten all about my engagement plans. Let's say now I visited another shopping website that's more general, it sells a bunch of stuff, right? And I happen to visit this shopping website on a regular basis. Well, you don't want to forget about that entire site because it's useful, you know, I buy CDs and books and stuff from there. Let's say you were just browsing for the last two hours, maybe you're doing a, a more thorough job. You can go up to Tools and then Clear Recent History. So you select last two hours from the dropdown, click on Clear Now, and once that's done, all your visits from all the websites that you visited in the last two hours will be erased. We just talked about private browsing mode and Clear Recent History. Those are great for forgetting history for a certain temporary span of time. But let's say I'm a librarian at a school or something. You never want Firefox to remember history at all. It's easy, I just go up to Tools, I open the Options window, I select the Privacy pane. You have an option for History. You can always remember History, which is the default. You can never remember History, so I'll select that and click OK. And now Firefox will never remember anything about what I'm doing. So this is kind of like a permanent private browsing mode. If you need more control over private browsing, you can tell Firefox to use custom settings. So you can do things like changing the amount of days that Firefox remembers history. You can tell Firefox never to remember download history, never remember search and form history. You can have cookie controls, so you can tell Firefox never to accept cookies from certain sites. Another more advanced feature is you can tell Firefox to forget everything you've done when Firefox closes. So we talked about Firefox's private browsing mode, forget about this site, clear recent history, and how to always start Firefox in private browsing mode. One important point to make about all these privacy features that I've talked about is that they hide your tracks on Firefox on a computer, but they do not make you anonymous on the internet. So there's more to these privacy features in Firefox that you can check out by going to firefox.com.